Hey there guys, it's OS Gamer here with my first video of a game that I used to play a lot of in my childhood. A game that I was never particularly very good at. It's Nightmare 3D. It's a game that plays pretty similar, similarly to Wolfenstein 3D. Of course, it's more based on monsters and mummies and whatnot instead of Nazis. Though shooting up Nazis was always fun as well. Alright, I'm gonna disable the mouse here. I don't like to use the mouse in this game. Uh, actually, I'm gonna make sure the cheats are off as well. Sometimes in the uh, register one, like if you get remove, if you remove your configurations and whatnot, they default to having all the cheats on. So I just wanted to make sure I was playing legitimately. Feeling pretty tough tonight. So we start off in a haunted house. With some pretty epic organ music. Get the plasma gun here. Shoot this guy. I remember playing this as a kid. And the uh, the hero's face looked much different. Uh, the hero, by the way, his name is Hugo. Uh, this game is actually based off a uh, text adventure series called Hugo's House of Horrors. Horrors. If I could say the word right. Um, it's a game that I was never really good at at all. The, the series, I mean. I hate text adventures, by the way. Not that you, I don't hate them, it's just that I'm not good at them. Um, I remember playing the third one of these where like they crash landed in some jungle. And there was a witch doctor there. I made a voodoo doll with him and killed him and whatnot. It was really strange. Anyway. So yeah, it's based off that series. Where the hero Hugo is saving his girlfriend once again, this time from a mad scientist. Oh, there we go. And um, all these monsters are pretty much your everyday monster movie monsters. You have your vampire bats, you got Frankenstein monsters, mummies, mad scientists. Later you'll have like witches, skeletons, everything you'd expect in a game like this. Now earlier you may have noticed that I picked up, well just now too, that I picked up an eyeball and a crystal ball. The crystal ball, when you press F9, sorry if the sounds, by the way, I'm, I'm like trying to hold back gas here, I had a pretty big bottle of Pepsi just before recording this video. Got a little bit of gas. Um, it lets you map the level. If you look closely in the little mini-map there, you can see a little yellow dot circling around as I turn. That just shows which direction you're facing, obviously. And oh, here we go, perfect example. If you're against the secret passage, the little dot in the middle of the eye, as I'm showing right now, will glow white. I'm not sure how well that'll show up in the video, but it's there anyway. There's ammunition and health here. Oh, I'm gonna turn that off. Oh, and F10 triggers crystal ball, which shows where all the enemies are. Oh, and if you press tab, you can see your progress on the level, which I'll show after I reopen this curtain. You can see how many panels you have left to open. Panels being like those secret doorways, uh, guards left, and any keys and cards you haven't found yet. I'm gonna turn on F9 here so I can see where I'm going. Basically, you have to find the correct ID card to open up the finish uh, the door. There. I was about to say finish line. It's really more of a door than a line. God damn it. There we go. And as you can tell, I'm not strafing at all. Later on, there, in the next level, there's a part where I'm definitely going to have to and most likely won't. Uh, I generally never played that way as a kid. I generally never used a strafe key this or Wolfenstein or whatever else. Here it is. We need this ID card to open the uh, door you may have seen upstairs. Which are all oh, my goodness. There we go. This door here. I'm not gonna bother trying to get a hundred percent on all these levels just because that'll take up a lot of time on this video. 
And I know there's no way I'm gonna finish within whatever YouTube's limit is. I think it's like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, I don't know. I know if you do enough videos, there, it like removes the limit. That's when I'm gonna start doing my bigger games. Because even though my name, OS Gamer, which is old school gamer, uh, even though I'm gonna be playing a lot of like classic videos and whatnot, I'm planning to do some bigger games as well, depending on how long my computer can take it. I've always kind of wanted to do a video on uh, Oblivion or you know any other similar game. Oh, that'd be pretty cool to do. Kind of hoping that uh, this game doesn't slow down like it did earlier. There's a lot of enemies on the screen, or if I just fail really badly. Try and open up some of these panels. At least try and go for 100% if I want. If I can, anyway. It probably would be easier to use the strafe now, wouldn't it? Okay, what's the combination? I don't... Oh, I can't spell it out. I don't give... yeah. That is not the correct combination. What's the combination? No, okay. I don't know what combination is. I guess we gotta go find it. Oh, that's strange looking. Huh. Oh! Clever, clever. Huh. Okay, three, three, three. I bet you a million dollars that's a combination. Ha! All you viewers out there owe me three... Wait a minute. What did I say? I don't remember. I'm too concentrated on the threes. Damn that chalkboard. The real amount you all owe me is not three dollars, but yet a million dollars. Climb down. Oh my god. These guys actually do a lot of damage if you're close to them. Just like the, uh, mad scientists there. They take away, like, 50% of those. 50% of your health if you're, like, standing right next to them. And I cannot talk tonight. Oh, god. Those are those witches. There we go. There's the one behind me just still zapping me, I think. No? Yeah, no, don't be. Yeah, there's still, there's still some sh Oh, god. Oh. See? Right there. 50%. Of course, that wasn't from one of the scientists, but still. secret here. Oh, right. Uh, just set on this wrong button here. Before I go on, I should probably save. Yes, my name is Steven, by the way. Let me change this. Um, when I kind of just practiced this game a little bit, I realized if you die, you have to start a new game, so I'm gonna try and save often, so that way I don't have to backtrack so much. I'll probably edit out future saves in this video, uh, depending on how much I do so anyway. Alright, let's climb up. Oh my god. <laughs> That's exactly- oh, yeah, here we go. We started last save. That's exactly what I want. I'm still getting hit from something right there. I don't know what that was. I got like hit through the wall or something. Yeah, anyway. Okay, so. There's a witch up the stairs here. Up and spam control. Control being the button to shoot, by the way. Green key here. Green key here. Green key here. So this place is useless. Find back down. There's a dumb waiter here. Let's go down. Okay, nothing over here. It's over here. Kill the skeleton guy to get one of these. These things last pretty long, by the way, the eyeballs. I think the uh, crystal ball depletes a lot faster. Nothing else here. Kind of pointless. When 
yes, apparently going up the stairs or down later, down later or whatever really doesn't bring you up before. It just teleports you to another part of the level. That's some pretty crazy uh, haunted mansion design there. Alright, so that's two parts of the level right there. Let's see what's over here. Oh, oh, where, where? Oh, hold on. I'm gonna save because I heard the witch and uh, I can see myself dying right here. No, I do not want to quit. Oh, there's another one. Heard it. Yeah, right over here. Really? Come on, I shot you like eight times. Die. No, no, you know what? Don't rest in peace. Oh, damn witch. There we go. Some more ammunition here. Oh. Really should be using a uh, straight more often here. There we go. I am horrible at these games. I really am. I think it really shows for itself, though. Just run through here. Oh my God! I can't believe I actually survived that. 